1973 Lotus Europa Special. And it is in the John Player livery, which means it's black with gold pinstriping. This is the livery they used on the Lotus race cars of the era when the car was built. As a matter of fact, the Lotus John Player Specials are the car that Mario Andretti won the World Championship in. outfitted with wheels that are like like mini lights these are Panasports. sports it has a European engine in it in, in, versus the North American engine John player special also includes these silver panels below which makes it look a little bit slimmer on the inside you can see it's got a solid wood dash I believe it's burled walnut you can see the, the English flag there so the gearbox is a five-speed uh, made by Renault, as you can see with the shift mechanism there. And it is a 70s car. You start it with a choke. Um, I also I put in a fire extinguisher. It's always a good idea. And yep. I've got uh, competition seat belts in it, which I think is also a good idea. The seating position is very reclined, and this is the lowest car I've ever driven on the street. And especially your eyeball level is really low because of the, the recline of the, the seats. And I, I was noticing just yesterday, going over hills, cresting hills, you keep waiting. When could I see over the hill? Let me show you the engine. The engine is called the Lotus Twin Cam. This is the big valve version. It's the European head with the Weber carburetors. Uh, this whole engine, the way it's assembled now, is about 1,700 cc's, and it's pushing a 1,700 pound car. The car you're looking at is, the body is all fiberglass. The chassis is a backbone type chassis. It's got a T at the front to hold the front suspension. And then there's a backbone and there's a Y at the back which cradles the engine and the transaxle. As a matter of fact, if you come look at the back, if you get down low, you can see the transaxle. What you're looking at down there, that's the shifter mechanism coming out the back of the transaxle. You have cross brace and the exhaust pipe. As you can see, the car is pretty low. One interesting thing is they had they made these cars for Europe and Europeans have thinner longer license plates and on this one to get the US license plate to fit I actually had to trim the top and bottom of the plate so it would actually fit in there previous owner didn't do that and he kind of nicked up the, the paint there's a trunk in the back and I guess I can show you there's a trunk in the front
Well, you might notice it has two gas caps. It's got a gas cap on each side. It's got two saddle tanks and a crossover tube. But when I fill it up, I actually put gas in both sides to get a complete fill up. So this is the front trunk. And this is where the spare tire used to be in there and I, I took it out. But this is the radiator, which you can see is totally different than any other car. It's over on the side, it's small. Um, and this is the heater fan, which the way they did the ventilation and heating system is rather strange. The fan takes in air here, blows it out into this compartment, and then it goes in these vents to do your heating and cooling. But uh, mostly I've driven this car in the summer and it actually works. You get pretty good ventilation through the vents in the car. Now you can use this as a luggage compartment, but if you fill it up with luggage, you lose your ventilation. But you can see here that the fiberglass composition of the car, it's just, uh, it's just a fiberglass body. Everything above the, before this point in the car is all fiberglass. And then under there, there's a piece of metal that connects the front suspension. The backbone goes back, and then the Y in the back for the engine. And the other curious thing about the car is this is how you lift both the, the rear uh, boot and the, and the bonnet. So you lift it with the key. Everything about this car was designed by Lotus Colin Chapman to be light. And it is light. It's 1,700 pounds uh, for you know, basically a fully equipped car that you can drive on the street and, and cross country. little spoiler on the front from uh, the 70s that's what the spoilers were they didn't exactly have splitters they just had this little chin spoiler but so far at the speeds I've driven it it's been aerodynamically aerodynamically sound I don't know if you captured this but Lotus won the world championship of car constructors 63 in 1965 1968 1970 and I believe there was another one later on after uh, this emblem was made